Hey, this is Ralph, and we are in, let's see, we're in our fourth video, part four of this solution video for this particular website project. Here we go. Here's our header page. I'm sorry, header section, left column, center column, and we're working on the right column. We just inserted the photo, and now I'm going to work on this little, it's another web form in here, but it's a basic, it's a form someone could use for posting review to the site. No form functionality of this, by the way. We're just getting the HTML structure set up. So here's how my web page is looking so far. I'm going to jump over to uh, my editor. I'm working in the right column, and I'm going to create another form. Okay. This will be form two. I'll just do a generic method equals post, action equals, and I'll just do a generic action in there. Okay. And our form give you a little bit of information on here. Basically, it's going to have a log, a place where a person can type a username and password, a brief title, and a review, and of course a submit button. And of course, I've got a, a bulleted list of directions too. Okay, below the photo is a form where a member of the site can post their own review. To post a review, the member must provide a username and password. A brief review, no more than 150 characters, and can write more detail in text box area. Okay, so. Got my form here. Make sure I've got my sketch handy so I can see my sketch is on the other screen there. So I just got to create the little form box. Um, I'm going to have a few input elements certainly. Type equals text. And this is going to be for their username. And doesn't have to really be too fancy there. Okay, basic form element there. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just doing control D as in David and notepad plus plus to repeat that line a couple of times there. Let's see, there's also going to be a place for passwords, so I'll do a password box, name equals PWD, ID equals PWD. Um, we've also got a brief title, so I'll just do a type equals brief. I'm sorry, can't do that. It's type equals text, name brief, ID brief. And then there's going to be a larger text area box. So I'll literally do a text area box. Oh, let's see. How about uh, rows 2 calls equals 25? We'll see how that looks. And I'll go ahead and give this a uh, name equals review, ID equals review. And we do need a submit button. Input type equals submit. Value equals send. Okay. All right. So there's some basic form elements. I don't have any labels in, so let me go ahead and put a couple labels in here. Label for user name, and I'm actually going to call this um, login name. Sounds good. Actually, let's see. Copy that, paste, and this will be a login for a password for PWD. Password. And we need a label for brief. Brief review. And we need a label for the actual review. The full review. Now, I don't really give you a good idea of how this should look, you know, on the finished product. You just say, hey, there's a little form here with these pieces of information. Well, I've got some pieces of information. Let's see how it is looking for me. So I just need to head over to my browser. Okay. And there, things are looking. I could, could have put a couple break tags. We're not doing any fancy CSS formatting of this form. Um, we'll reserve that for another class, another video. But I can do a few things on here. So I think I'll do this with a little bit of style. So I'm going to jump back over to my editor. Style sheet. And by the way, what did I call this one? This is form 2. I'm just looking at my color coding here. That's a little bit weird. I think everything's okay. Okay, form two. I'm going to do this. Margin top. About 20 pixels. Let's move that down. 
font size nine points. Take care of that. Form two. Oops, wrong way to go about that. Labels within the form two. Let's display those as block elements. Okay. And let's do a little bit of margin top on them of about 10 pixels. And let's kind of see what that does to us, does for us here. All right, so I'm just going to hit refresh. Now I've got the smaller size text, block elements, so that'll ensure their text boxes go right below. So a little bit of a cleaner look. I can see my text area box is a little bit too wide for the space, so let me just go and clean that up real quick. That's on the HTML side of things. Instead of 25 columns, how about 19 columns? There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, so things are looking okay there. Um, maybe a little bit more padding on these columns would be nice. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Because remember, we're just trying to accomplish these tasks in order to uh, get through that particular sketch that I provided. So, oh, where is my sketch? There it is. So we've actually got the basic page down. So that takes care of that part. Let me just kind of look over my bulleted list for a moment. Let's see what else we had on here. Um, page is written invalid, XHTML 1.0 strict. Um, trust me, I did it. Okay, here's here. Let's, this is a good tricky skill right here. If the page is printed, only the central column with the restaurant name, review map, and table will display. Include a message only on print that reads this review and other local data. Okay, so I'll have to come back to that one that message but let's take care of this if this page is printed it's gonna look different than how it looks on screen okay so get rid of that sketch this is how it's gonna look when it's on screen now if I were to print this right now by the way let's look at this in print preview file print preview here in Firefox it's gonna print just like it looks on screen but in print we don't want to see a lot of this stuff I don't want to see my header up here I don't want to see this left column with the navigation and the ad so I really only want to be able to see this center the center column okay so we've just gotta get rid of all those other things no problem so let me get out of here I'm gonna head back over to the HTML for a moment because I see on the directions when somebody prints this out okay a message this review and other local dining reviews can be found in okay so basically I want this message to show up when somebody prints so I'm going to just copy that right off the directions Of course you had printed directions you could type it up by hand easy enough I'm gonna head over to the HTML and I will stick this right in the center column okay so let's see where is my center column left right there's the center column paragraph class equals print only there's the message okay I only want that to show up on print so I'm actually gonna have to do a little bit of style sheet stuff here so let me scroll up to the top of my HTML file and I need another link tag so I'm just gonna do a control oops wrong button there there it is control D oops let's try it this way copy that paste okay this one is going to be media equals screen my second style sheet will be media equals print okay and I'll just call this local dining p dot CSS alright so I've referencing a CSS file which I have yet to make it's my print version CSS here's my regular CSS and while I'm here I'm going to take elements that are dot print only and I'm going to say display none okay so basically on screen any any element that has class equals print only it's not going to display okay I only want that display on print all right and this part is really pretty easy I could just do a file save as right from here I'm going to save this CSS file again but I'll just put the little P in there so now it's a print version CSS and this is going to be pretty easy left column display none okay let's see header display none right column display none okay 
taken care of that. And let's do this too. The body, instead of Verdana, let's do times. Okay, so I'm going to save this, head back over to my browser, and hit refresh. Okay, nothing's changed, and it, nothing really should noticeably change. But let me click on File, Print Preview, and check this out. Okay, so now I can see that I've got Sunset Grill. It's just that center column. Hey, I don't have my text message. Let's fix that. You know what happened is I put that in my style sheet as Display None, and then I copied and made that print version, but I forgot. Okay, so I got to go down here. Really, I don't want that print only display none. I could just delete this and that would be fine, but I'll do this. I'll do, uh, actually, yeah, let's just, yeah, it's probably better. I'll just delete it out of there. Okay, save that back to the browser, refresh, no noticeable change there. Let's go to File, Print Preview, and there's my message. This review, another, okay, so. So there we go. I've got that taken care of. Hey, what about the width? Yeah, you could adjust the width. Um, remember on my center column, I've got those big margins. Margin left, 200 pixels. Margin right, 200 pixels. I could get rid of those two on print also. Hey, well, we've got a few seconds. What the hell? Let's try it. So where's my center column? There it is. Um, I'll just change it out to margin left and right, 5 pixels. Save that. Back to the browser. Close this, refresh, alt, file, print preview. There we go. So now it's a little bit wider looking. All right, that's the basics right there. So that was the challenge. That was a final exam in one class and the first week review activity in another class. Uh, making a web page mock up, really. It's just a mock up with, net, with header section, logo, title, search box, positioned appropriately, navigation menu with shifting background, advertisement text content with image map, I'm sorry, with map image, um, address information located in a table, photo displayed in a right column with a small form for review, for posting a review, and on print, the page looks different than it does on computer screen. Thanks a lot. Uh, by the way, I'm going to post all of these uh, resource files, so all the files I use to create this page, including the directions and things like that, so challenge yourself and go for it. Um, I'll put a link down in the description area below the videos area, so give it a try and see if you can't do this from start to finish in under two hours.